Breaking news, my people. Hmm. Article was a Yola. That was a Yola. Oh. Hmm. And there a lot of governors did not show up. Hmm. At this point, Wiki, you are a strong man. Wiki, you are a strong man. That is why anywhere you find yourself in a particular group, in a particular setting, make sure you are very you 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 take a very important role. Make sure you 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 are very active in in short. Make sure you are very active. So when you are not there, people will, will people will feel your absence. People will know that ah, this person is not there. That is why things are not working well. This is the case in the case of Atiku and Wiki B. Wiki's beef now. A lot of governors did not show up at the rally they had at Yobe, and it's becoming evident that without Wiki in this party, hmm, their 2023 election is not going to be the same. Before we go ahead with the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe, turn on the post notification bell, give this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets seen by a wider audience. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the details of today's news. Absence of governors on the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and some key members of the party's National Working Committee, NWC, in Yola, has reflected how the crisis rocking the party is weakening the presidential movement of the presidential candidate of the party in 2023, Atiku Abubakar. The former vice president on Monday attended a rally in Yola, the capital of Adamawa State, his home state, where he formally received supporters of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, in the state, including two state lawmakers who defected to the PDP. Considering the political stature of Atiku, one would have expected the event to see the weight of PDP stat structure reflected in the Adamawa rally, but this did not happen. One of the major pointer that Atiku's camp is experiencing some silent crisis is that no PDP governor, apart from the host governor, Fini Tiri of Adamawa, and only four members of the NWC attended the event. Instead of attending the rally in Yola, Big Wings and the PDP converged in rivers for a meeting with Nelson Wiki, who is contending for control for the party with the presidential candidate. In Rivers, Wiki met with some former governors, including former governor of Gobe State, Gobe State, Ibrahim Danwabo, governor of Benue State, Samuel Autumn, governor of Abia State, Okezi Ikweazu, former governor of Cross River State, Donald Duke and former Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Mohammed Adoke San, among others. In fact, presidential candidate of Labour Party Peter Obi was also spotted with Wiki in a picture taken on the same day. The PDP presidential candidate, among along with his vice Ifan Yokowa were received in Yola on Monday by the Adamawa State Governor A A Amadu Fintiri. Recall that the circumstances of Atiku's emergence as PDP's candidate and his alleged refusal to adopt the reconciliation of Wiki by a committee set up to choose a vice presidential candidate as his running mate had opened a gap in the party which has so far proved tough to close. The cold shoulder by the governors and NWC members may not be unconnected with the alleged feelings of some members of his camp that is allowing the crisis to fester for too long without any serious solution from him. According to the source, who preferred not to be named, the governors and those NWC members are taking a break from Atiku's campaign 
until it starts his unifying mantra from within the party before he can fully enjoy their support. Governors of the party are not with Wiki, and indeed members of the NWC feel strongly that the flag bearer has been far from creative in solving the crisis working the party. Not only did he poorly undo the events immediately after the primaries, he has also not been forthcoming with tangible actions to patch up the party thereafter, the source said. Notwithstanding, the Adamawa stage was not empty for Atiku. He had in his entourage a former vice president, Namde Sambo, former Adamawa state governor, Boni Aruna, former governor of Niger State, Baba Gida Aliyu, Senator Adamu Maina, and Senator Dino Milai. The PDP flag bearer was re received by a mammoth crowd at the Mahmoud Ribadu Square in Yola. Atiku is visiting his hometown for the very first time after his emergence as the flag bearer of the PDP in the presidential primaries held in Abuja in May. Atiku, alongside Governor of Adamawa State, Omaru Fintiri, and National Chairman of PDP, Iyo Ayu, received the, the campaigns while assuring them a level playing ground. At the ceremony, Atiku assured Nigerians that he has no other agenda but to serve the people. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. Give this video a massive thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Uh, majorly, do you think that the non-appearance of PDP governors at uh, uh, Atiku's campaign in Yola? Yola being his hometown. How can you go to your hometown like that with not a lot of support? Like, in neither he was supposed to go there with a lot of you know, get, 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 get. everybody should know that, okay, Atiku is on ground, but anyway, let me know what you think. Do you think it's going to affect him? How do you think it's going to affect him? Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.